refills. Follow the hustle. All right, first stop of the day, four books, $20 profit. Paid three bucks, on to the next one. All right, we're walking up to sale number two. It looks like a lot of clothing. We're using the GoPro, hopefully it looks all right. Tell me again. One dollar. Well, she still hasn't paid the man yet. Yeah, but I'm gonna get it. Nice. Look, oh, look, 20 look, questions, bro. Look that up. Thank you. I just got attacked. How's it going? Good. Sorry, I keep forgetting. That's okay. Is it 20 questions hustling or no? It was only for two bucks. Ooh. Salt shakers. Oh, pepper shakers. Definitely could be a good deal. What about this? Fish of Barbados. Sony DVD CD video CD player. Ooh, I'm gonna look this one up. All right, hurry up and go check out. We're gonna go to the next one. Oh, give me a dollar. Oh, look at the Stranger Things hoodie. I think this is like that. I was like, is it no, it's all clothing. Just leave. <laughs> You're happy? It was a good one? Well, you did get a cheetah headwear, huh? Uh-huh. Theater headwear to be specific. Nice. All right. Sale number two. It's not that great. Ran into a couple of the familiar faces, but it was mostly clothing, and that guy just goes to the Goodwill outlet. So all that stuff was from the outlet. He had a bunch of DVDs. I made him an offer to buy that box of DVDs, and he didn't want to take it. So on to the next one. All right. So garage sale number three. The spot that we're at is in really rich area. This is a really custom modern home and they said they were purging their home. So we're excited to see what's in here. Masks on. Oh, these are kind of cool. Oh, these are animal cookies. Can we get them, Molly? Cast iron shapes for animal cookies. Let's look that up. Yeah, these are camera stuff. How much for the old camera? Well, it's the whole everything and it's okay. 125. Ooh. Yeah, that's got the lens on it that belongs in that box. Okay. So these are all different. Ooh, massive salt and pepper shaker collection over here. Salt and pepper piggy collection. Oh, this oh, thing's kind of cool. Bit. What do you want for this baseball card? Um, $5. All right, let's go. All right, garage sale number three wasn't that great, but we got a problem, guys. Here's the problem. Rosa and Luna are getting more stuff than I am, more stuff than me and Austin. And that's a big problem because that just puts the profit down. So we are in a war against Rosa and Luna because we have to make more profit than they're spending. Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> so Rosa's up five, we're down five. Look at this, I got for free. For free? How'd you get it for free? You paid with cuteness? They said it was going to be 50 cents. Nice. The girls Is it your size? No. Oh, all right. That was going to be your size. All right, sale four. We are on Seaview Drive, which is home to some of the nicest houses ever. I want to put up some pictures real quick of some of these houses from Zillow with the prices and just like, whoo, goals. Let's get into this sale. Looks good. This graphic design. Oh, dope. What do you want for this camera? Uh, 10. Cool. Does it work? I don't have the power cord. I had two brand new ones. Huh. I gave one to the neighbor down the street. That uh, is a nice little uh, micrometer. Yeah, caliper thing. Yeah, 40 on that. Wow. All right, let's yeah. Go, let's, go, let's go 25 on that. I'll think about it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It looks nice. It is. It's kind of cool. Twenty percent off what eBay is. <laughs> yeah, this. I like this neighborhood, man. <laughs> Sold fairly recently for sixty plus eleven. You said twenty-five. Well, you're gonna cop it for it's twenty. Right Fifteen, maybe. No, Who is it? How about seventeen? All right. All right. Sale number five. Thing. All these dope modern looking like cubic flat houses. All right, mask on. How much are the books? Free. Free? Yeah. Thank you. Might as well just take them, I guess. I'll just take them. Switch it up, bro. 
got this box of books for free didn't really take the time to scan it i'm sure there will be some profit in there there's a couple bookends in there too we'll go through this later do a recap maybe in another video or something but nice way to start to sail off free art then these things are expensive what is it Look basically it chairs or stands for little kids to Mama, reach and help do dishes and stuff Really? The art's free. It says free I art. I know, she likes them. <laughs> yeah, me too. Really? I like that one. Let me see the one you like. Show me. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I'm here for the secret garage sale. Why'd you turn around? I couldn't get in. Uh, are you going to the sale? Yeah. I dialed and it said no one's home. Huh. All right. Well, I guess I'll try my luck. Okay. Thank you. So this sale is in a gated community and you have to dial a code to get in. So hopefully we can get in here. Magic Jack customer you have called is unavailable to take your call. Oh, uh, well the this tone. is the going out game. Magic okay. Jack customer you have called is unavailable to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Uh, what about the garage sale, bro? They're not answering the phone. Weird. Yeah, we're here for the garage sale. Tight. I just called another number. It says we it's a in multi here. family garage sale. Open Sesame Baby. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. We in the business. We found it. Secret tunnel. Ooh. Baby, I'm gonna get my garage sale now. Yeah? All right, garage sale five. We almost didn't get into this spot. It's a gated community, super nice, super rich areas. Everywhere around here is rich, but gated is extra rich. Code that they advertised did not allow us to get in. I had to randomly dial some other people on the directory until someone buzzed us in, but that's not important. The important part is we're in. Ready, Luna? Yeah, I'm gonna get my garage sale on. What about you, Rosa? What are you looking for? God bless America sign? Got you. <laughs> Got some clothing. Luna, this is a little girl's stuff. Got some unicorns, slippers. <laughs> you guys have any books? Books? Yeah, books. No, I mean, you know, subject matter. I'm a book matter. dealer. Yeah. Oh, if you want to sell it, I'm happy to take a look at it. You got a sword? This is a cool chair. Super vintage. This way, or is it this way? I, I like it either way. way. Where's way. the label inside? Oh, it's up on the top. Yeah, so go either way. way. I like it with this coming up in the front. Oh, yeah. I guess it comes in the front either way. I think it's a hat you can wear either way. It's so oh, okay, cute. Sure. Oh, yeah. It's cute. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta dust it off. Yeah. She almost <laughs> didn't get it because she's like, they probably want too much. And I'm like, <laughs> Rosa's hat. Show them. Get my hat. No. <laughs> This one looks like it's gonna be wicky. Couple more sales up in these rich neighborhoods. The next one's gated, but let's check this one out. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Look at this fancy stuff. Fancy tea time stuff. Look at here. Those are cute. All right, we're out by the beach. Garage sale number, I forgot. We're still hunting for that lick. We haven't found anything really good yet. Pray for us. Nice tiki dress. I know. Is it made in Hawaii or California? This book oh, actually, I think, hits. How much for the boots? Oh, $5 for the pair. Nice. All right, we're back at home. Not completely empty-handed, but today was far from the best garage sale day. That's actually the truth, guys. You don't hit a home run every single time. This is actually kind of realistic, you know? You have to keep going, and the goal is, through volume of hitting a lot of garage sales, you will eventually hit those really, really good ones. But let me show you what we got today. While it is rather paltry, I'm still gonna share it with you. First off, we got these four books. We paid $3 for this, and after getting our $3 back, this is gonna bring in $25. 
$20 profit. This was the big purchase that we got today. So he said he wanted 50 or 40, then he said 25 and then 20. And then I talked him down to 17. It was rather brutal, but this thing has comps sold in the $60 and higher range plus shipping recently. This is a Mitsu Toyo 500-136. This is a digital caliper measuring instrument. These things are really cool. Not something that I need for personal, but gonna flip this for 60 has good comps excellent condition it looks like it really hasn't ever been used with the case and then we got this whole box of books for free now i'm not going to go through these right now and i have no idea what the actual profit is for these but whenever i can get books for free if i have the space and time i will take them especially from a house like that i got a couple bookends those are nice right off the bat we got this harry potter book if you bought my book bolo bundles book which you should have there's a link in the description you know why that's exciting but i guarantee there's going to be some profit in there i think i'm going to scan this in another video like scout iq you know scanning through 40 free books i got you know showing you how to use scout iq plus the reality of going through an actual box of free books that you may get from someone also not my score but rosa's score rosa got that really nice wool red hat and then luna scored this which she's super excited for this is a theater headwear and it's a cheetah mask with cheetah hair and it looks like cheetah ponytails if you know luna you know she loves cheetahs you don't always do super killer i did really good in this video up here last week's garage sale check that one out thank you for watching guys as always remember if you ain't flipping you slipping and i'll see you on the next video peace you'll get strangled to death as i mangle your flesh lights on night con which angle is best i put you in the frame and let you hang with the rest call it photo finish as we diminish your last breath and if the sabbath is the day of the lord then my style of rap is like the way of the sword better sharpen your blade i'm coming straight for your door i see the devil in your